Back in the early 80s, I went to California to pursue acting. I was there for about a week and landed a motion picture. And I thought to myself, well, this, this isn't so hard. And, and then uh, a couple of months later, there was a writer's strike in Hollywood, the union. Writer's strike and the whole town shut down. And I, like a lot of actors and florists and cameramen and everything else, started to starve. So I subsidized my income by doing modeling work. And one day a makeup artist handed me her business card and said, you're cute and if you ever want to do any nude work, call this number. And I remember being very gracious and th said thank you. But of course I was thinking that will ruin my career. So I couldn't do that. Well, about a month after that, I was really starving. I think I had two cans, one can of little potatoes and one can of pork and beans. And I gave in to the temptation, made the phone call, and they said, be here at this time. And I showed up and I made my first adult movie. And it was surprising how easy that was. I jumped on my motorcycle and I had four crisp brand new $100 bills riding home thinking, what have I done? But at least I can eat. And I could act and do what they needed, so my phone rang. And pretty soon it started ringing a lot. The allure really was at first money. And then to be absolutely honest with you, you know, I was a, a red-blooded young man and the, the idolatry really started to creep in with the sex part. Women became idols to me, along with the money. And then a whole new idol, fame. And it was a triple threat at that point. The first year I was in the business, it was just such a whirlwind of newness and influx of cash um, that it, it, it really took me about a year and a half to two years where it started to affect me negatively. The struggles, of course, were always with me the entire time. Uh, being a Christian, knowing I was backsliding, um, the pain started to really set in of what I was doing. The realization, what I was doing to my family, when my mother found out, my grandmother, my brothers, my friends shame started to creep in and I started needing to find a way to bury that pain and I wasn't hitting my knees enough so I started to turn to drugs and alcohol and it started to ruin my relationships and certainly my family uh, relationships as well God rescued me plucked me out of that very, very dark place. One day, we'll jump ahead 25 years because that's how long I was in the business. I was, I got into my car after a big movie and all day long, there's people catering to you and anything you need, what can we get you? And, so I kind of would play that game of movie star when I was on the set, giving them everything that they wanted. Well, this one particular day, I got in my car, 
I turned the key, started the vehicle, and drove about one block and pulled over and just absolutely broke down and wept because I knew I was hurting him so terribly and hurting myself and I cried out to him in desperation at that point and said I've had enough please please take me back and that was a turning point I felt his love and uh and his forgiveness and his peace. And what came into my mind at that very moment was the story of the prodigal son. And I felt the spirit say to me, I am running towards you. <clears throat> and that was the turning point. I lost everything that was valuable to me, my wife, my children, my family, my sanity, and, uh, and he reached down and he picked me up. At that very moment, my life changed. Because if he could save me, he could save anyone. 